Ouch. The Blind Foundation Rear Puppy Appeal was on over the weekend. And to share where your donation goes, we are joined by Stevie and Halo. Great to have you here. Thank Thanks. you for having me. Thank you. And Halo, very well behaved. <laughs> so, Stevie, we'll start with you. You're born with a rare eye condition. Tell us about it. Yeah, so I was born with um, cone dystrophy and keratoconus. And so, essentially, that's not very heard of. No. Um, makes life a little bit more challenging, but life always has challenges and you just have to push through them. <laughs> what, what does it mean for your sight? Um, I'm very light sensitive, so light really does affect everything. It sort of floods my eyes and when I'm sitting still I can see quite well, but as soon as I start to move, my eyes often jiggle back and forward wow. and that makes it very unfocused. Yeah, a bit annoying yeah. too. So yeah. how does that sort of affect your everyday life? Um, I've learnt to sort of cope with it, like getting a guide dog and um, larger print and that type of thing. Um, I just have to be quite careful, just take different precautions and things like that, but otherwise I get on just as usual. <laughs> and, and Halo, clearly a huge part of your life. I mean, look at her, she's just beautiful, well behaved as well. <laughs> when did you first meet Halo? Um, I met Halo nearly two years ago. Um, the guide dog trainer brought her down to my home in Matamata and um, yeah, we've We've had a very unbreakable bond since then. So how do you go about getting a guide dog? It's quite a long process. So I waited two years for Halo. Normally you wait about a year, but because I was quite young um, at the time, I needed a very specialised dog. Um, one that could sort of go in most environments that a teenager would want to. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, you, sort of, you apply through the foundation obviously and um, you have to go to match meetings and all this type of thing. The dogs very, very match to my personality which is really cool. Actually on that, is there a bit of a waiting list? Yeah, yeah, there is. There's not enough dogs for the demand of visually right. impaired and blind people. Right, yeah. so let's hope people gave a lot of money over the weekend. Yes, but, definitely. Because it goes to a great cause, clearly. How has Halo changed your life? Oh, she has been absolutely marvellous. I can do whatever I want to, there's absolutely no limits. Um, yeah, she's just absolutely amazing, giving me so much confidence and independence. Can I ask, you know how you said they match you to the characteristics? Yeah. Of a, of what, what sort of characteristics does Halo have, I guess, that match <laughs> you? <laughs> she's very cheeky. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> she loves people and loves attention, which is very similar to me. Loves a party, yeah. Yes, yes, she does. So they take all of that into consideration, even how fast you walk or... Um, if you want to go on lots of public transport, if you don't, it, it's very, very um, high tech how they how they um, match them. So yeah. Yeah, and you know, as you say, your partner in crime, your best friend. What else apart from the guide dogs does the Blind Foundation do? Oh, they do heaps. So um, for youth, especially, obviously because of my age, I'm involved with a lot to do with the youth. Um, there's camps, there's trips, there's absolutely. Everything is open just like a normal young child would have all these opportunities. The Blind Foundation give um, the same opportunities just in sort of a safer way. So yeah, I've participated in lots of things like that. Sounds really cool. Sounds yeah. like, you know, it's a huge support network, Definitely. right? Definitely, they're amazing. And they do for a lot of older people as well, but I haven't got to that stage no, yet. No, you haven't. <laughs> so why should people give money to, um, to the Red Puppy Appeal, do you think? It's so important because guide dogs are fully funded by the public. Um, it's a 100% charity. There's um, a lot that goes into raising a dog, thousands and thousands of dollars and a lot of volunteered time as well. So um, it's a really, really good cause. And the way that they change people's lives is amazing. Could you imagine your life without Halo? No, I couldn't and I hope I never had <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, fantastic. And uh, you know, I guess that you know, when we see what's happened with your life and the energy and what you can do now, it's good inspiration yeah. for people to continue to give. Uh, what, what happens though when you have to get a new one? I mean, well, Halo, you'll outlive Halo, won't you? Yes, unfortunately. So um, you're given the option whether or not you want to retire your dog to live at your home or you can retire them to you know, another family, but I will choose to keep Halo. And you're at uni now. What are you studying? I'm studying child psychology. Oh, fantastic. So, Why did you choose that? Um, because I really, really enjoy helping people and I actually chose that course after I knew that I was getting Halo but I didn't have her so I thought I'd love to have a job where Halo can interact with clients and 
I can sort of give back in ways that you know people have given to me so I thought it was a really good opportunity. Well, I think you'll be amazing mm. at it. Thank you. So what's, yeah, next? Inspiration, what's yeah. next for you? After um, uni I guess you're gonna... Yeah so I wanted a little bit of travelling. Um, Hopefully we can take Halo, that would be marvellous, but we're not sure yet. <laughs> um, yeah, just want to get through uni and, yeah, move forward and do a bit of travelling. And, yeah. and take Halo with you on your travels? Yeah, I hope to, it would be really cool. <laughs> She'd love it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you yeah, so much. Lovely to meet Halo. Been so quiet. Yeah. Unlike Django yesterday, right. who had <laughs> some much, issues. <laughs> yeah. Much better trained, I think. And uh, this, to support the Blind Foundation Red Puppy Appeal, you can still donate at redpuppy.org.nz.